What's up, Rubits? Little Big Robots back with another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's pretty uh, cool and interesting, and something that I've been uh, I've covered a little bit before. Uh, but as you know, I've enjoyed uh, a few of the Lightyear toys. Lightyear being the movie from Pixar that came out what this year or whatever is a fantastic little movie. Um, go watch it if you enjoy that kind of thing. Um, and um, I wanted to collect this line of toys that they put out called the um, uh, Light Speed series. And essentially what that is is a certain scale of miniature ships and vehicles. There's also a vehicle. I reviewed this one already. This is like a carrier craft. It was really cool. It had a little drop down in the back. So it has. they, they often have cool little play features like that. It has landing gear that pop up. A cool little thing here. Uh, da, da, da. Anyway, I'll, if you want to see my full review of this one, go check it out in my past videos. You'll see it in there. Um, but that is the scale, which is roughly about the scale of Rahio, which in Rahio is one of my favorites. I believe it's about the same scale, about one one sixtieth, one 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 hundred. It could be one one hundred scale. But anyway, it, actually, it might be a little smaller than Rahio. Either way, this is the series. And as part of my kind of um, uh, collection of videos that are going to show you some good stocking stuffers you can get, this is a very this is a really good um, series of toys that you can get for somebody who might like um, this scale, like a smaller scale toy. Um, already bought this one. As I mentioned before, if you go to a Target, they often have these, and they're deeply discounted. If not, you can get the rest of them on Amazon as of right now, which it's what. What's the day today? Tuesday, the something or whatever. Um, the the published date, as of the published date of this video, these were on sale for like eight bucks a piece. And this great big one here. So I've got I've got all of them except there's one like a truck vehicle left that I wanted to get, but it's not a, a spacecraft. And I'm redoing my top top shelf to be like um, all flying vehicles and stuff. So that these will all get there. But this one is normally like forty something dollars. This great big carrier type ship. Um, it's got electronics and stuff on it, and it has this drop pod guy that I really wanted. Um, I don't have... That's also a light speed set, is you get two of those in one of the sets. But instead of getting to, paying 8 bucks for two of those in a set, I just got one with the carrier ship. Might even have two, so... But I saw that carrier ship, and oh, that's pretty cool and everything like that. I was like, but you know, 30, you know, $40 or whatever it is, $35 or whatever, I don't know. But they had an offer for some reason of trouble-free packaging something like that i don't know what that meant um and it was only 23 dollars brand new in the box and so i got it in a package like this it's almost like you know when you get a uh, from big bad toy store or something you get like a collector's type packaging it's almost like that i don't know what that meant so but we'll take a look at the big one last Let's look at these small ones first. These are all the, the, the different type, types of craft that he had in the movie Lightyear. First, we're going to be taking a look at this one, the XL14 and Buzz. So they do come with a little character there you're going to see. And like I said, I think that might be that might be too, large, too small for Rahio. Um, yeah, it's about the same. I, I, don't, I don't really know. It's 100 scale or something like that. But for eight bucks, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll grab these. Um, and, and, you know, if you're at the Target and they don't have them on that discount, um, they should price check for Amazon, so make sure you check for that. Um, the packaging is always really cool. The little figures are really always really fun. They, if you're a Rehio collector like me, which there's not very many of you out there, you're going to see... Sorry, I'm looking at the camera while I'm trying to get that to focus. <laughs> um, they're usually a, a bit a bit um, articulated but not much just a, your basic five point actually yeah this it's pretty it's a pretty cool little figure um, and I love that scale that's why I love this scale it's a scale that I've always really enjoyed um, this might be a little loud so I might turn it down oh there are some things to cut because molding it as part of the package isn't enough and I hate these little things um, so here's the spaceship and as you're going to see on them, they're going to have nice little details. Um, one of the problems with these details, though, is that they are not. They, they're just begging for, as you can see, they're begging for um, panel lining. So it's a good, they're a good project for people who want to, um, you know, 
customize or update, a, a, you know, like take a vehicle like this and either customize it or paint it, the little um, landing gear comes down and then it lands like that. So really, really cool. It should just pop right open and you should have a little cockpit. Again, decent details in all of these, um, but um, I don't know that I'd pay $13, $15, whatever they originally are. I like them at this price of eight bucks. And then Buzz, of course, just goes right in there like that. Close it up. And you've got a cool, I mean, even, like I said, even if you t get some of these to take apart and customize or to, um, don't want to hit anything here, or to, uh, you know, use in another project, Warhammer or something, Epic, no, nah, that's too big for Epic scale. Um, but, you know, different projects like that, you could do that. And what's really interesting, it has this little, it almost looks like a mount in the bottom for a, a stand. I don't, I don't think that's what that is. Uh, retractable landing gear. Okay, then. So, that's cool. You get a little bit of like a little mounting area there on the bottom. So, that's the X14 or whatever. Next, let's take a look at the X15. So, this is, I guess, the evolution of the same craft. Because in the movie, no spoilers. If you don't want to hear spoilers, turn away from it. It's not a, not a spoiler. In the movie, it goes through time. And he, as far as it shows, you know, time go along. And it shows him trying different craft out. So these are, I think, the ships as they become more and more advanced as it goes on. So that's cool if you're into that. But I, I think just as a, as a, it's just interesting to have the different looking craft. I hate these, these little plastic things. Um, again, Buzz looks good. This time he's got a little helmet. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm trying to do the YouTuber thing. See? The, the cool looking little figs. I really love that scale. This craft, as you can see, compared to the first one, it gets more advanced looking. I'm sure that's intended. Um, you know, they want you to get, they want it to look cooler as it goes along. It looks more effective. Again, a mounting point there. I'm Somebody tell me what that is. I might be missing what that is. The, the fins don't move. But I love that they include uh, landing gear in it. Why isn't it landing? Do these... I'm trying to pull out the landing gear and it's refusing to... Okay, I didn't want to break it. So the landing gear is just really cool because it could sit there on your shelf, literally sit there and look cool. Um, look how how much further down though the, the cockpit glass here is so much more flat. I, I think the idea, I'm sure they designed it that way, is that the idea is that the, the, the craft is getting faster. In it, he's trying to, I think, hit the speed of light so they can return home or whatever. I can't remember ex the exact uh, nature of the of the spaceships in the game. I can't remember. But it's a really fun little story. Very, very, really, really cool. Animated wonderfully, of course. Close it up. And there you've got another cool one. So that's the next evolution of craft. This one is I th XL01. So is this the first one? Anyway, I can't remember. If somebody can remember that evolution of the craft in the movie because I certainly can't. But again, these are all neat looking uh, spaceships. If you're into spaceships and if you want to use these to like build an army or something, you really probably want to get more than one. And at eight bucks, um, I would grab, you know, you could grab four, spend 35, 40 bucks after tax and everything and have a neat little army builder craft, you know, little, again, really cool looking Ships. This one has a little bit of a rubberized tip. I'm sure they did that for safety reasons. You know, when you're building stuff that a, a three-year-old might poke into their eye, <laughs> you probably don't want to build that with a super hard plastic. Um, again, the cockpit is real basic, but there are details in there that you might be able to see if I hold it up here. Um, see all this cool stuff here? This could all be used. Um, you could all panel line that. Just a wash on it with a little metallic would just look fantastic. Buzz again. Yeah, I think this is the earlier version. Buzz is pretty primitive looking here. He gets, I mean, obviously that's supposed to be designed that way, that it gets cooler and cooler looking as it goes on, you know. So, you know, it's supposed to feel like he's making some forward progress, I guess, in this. I can't get him in there. Anyway, so you can see the three different ships. Uh, I definitely think this is the 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 more advanced one over it, but I kind of like this one the best. I'm not real sure I, because of the exposed area. I love that kind of stuff where you can see the guts of a, of a vehicle. This is, of course, just to craft the one. There's a famous scene where it's like a chase scene in that. So already you've got a pretty good variety. Here I could set them right here as we're waiting. Got a pretty good variety of um, 
designs. And so you just sit them on the shelf like that. It's really cool looking. Um, you know, just a neat, neat line. I'm glad I got them for, I was going to get them all and I was like, I don't know if I want to spend that much on each one or whatever. But there you go. Buzz, get up there. Now, let's do this big one here that we've all been waiting on. This one's really, really cool. Zerg is the evil dude. Um, and it comes with, this one is like lights and sound and stuff, which I'm not a lights and sound guy because you, you'll, oh, look at that. It literally says lights and sound. <laughs> um, because, you know, you'll put batteries in it and it'll, and it'll uh, run out on your shelf and you forget. Um, I don't know if the batteries are included. I have batteries. Luckily, I have a whole bunch of batteries. Mm, well, we'll see. Some assembly required. Okay. Listed in like 12 different languages. And this is 4H4+, so you can see why they'd be concerned about sharp points. Good golly. Let's do a little surgery real quick on this box. So yeah, if you haven't seen the movie yet, go check it out. It's really, really a fun movie. It's kind of typical Pixar stuff in the way that it'll make you kind of sad one moment, you know, and happy in another. I, I like the stylized look, but I kind of prefer it to be a little less stylized than it is. Ooh, look at that. See, now this one is a unique case in the way that because of the size of it, you could literally use it, and I don't know, like Warhammer or something, but for other stuff. I don't there's anything in there. Anymore. I hate mystery packages like this. I don't, you know, the, the filler cardboard, because I don't know if there's stuff inside there or not. I don't think so. But we shall take a look, just in case. Put that down there. Put the box down there. I bet this is empty. What do you want to bet? Watch there be like really important stuff in there. Nope. Thank you. Okay. And then at the bottom, uh, this, is the best, this is the best stuff. The accoutrement that you have to attach. I think that's everything. Okay. So you got the craft itself. Massive thing. Um, I, I'm guessing this is the button that will fire off. Oh, and it has an on-off button, so that's good. Here's your. looks like your battery door, which you luckily have a tool to open that here. I'm not seeing landing gear on this one, or am I? Oh, I am. Look at that. Where's the rear landing gear? So you got landing gear, landing gear. Or is that just like a part of the design? That might just be part of the design. So let's get some of the stuff assembled. Oh, it's got all these fan, fins and stuff. So it's got quite a bit to attach to it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to assemble this real quick, and I'll be right back. Hey, hey. All right, back. So this is it assembled. You've got all these cool fins. I don't. I was thinking this handle thing here, this piece here. I wonder if they designed the ship for the movie. And they're like, you know, make sure you put a handle there so the kids can carry this around. <laughs> you know, they think about the toys uh, whenever they're uh, designing for these movies. They know there are going to be toys and everything. Um, it does. From what I can see, it does not come with any um, batteries at all. Um, but it, it, it comes with all these different parts that you snap in. What was really interesting is how easily they popped in. Almost like a, it reminded me of a, when you're building a Gundam model or Gunpla kit and you're in that satisfactory kind of uh, uh, mode where you're, it's getting close to done and you're starting to snap together the final pieces and they just go together like butter. It really has a nice satisfying click when you're put. Some of the parts are loose after you put them in, but that's fine. Um, it has some cool, I guess you'd call it play features. You open these up. Excuse me, I believe this will actually push open on its own. But you open these up and you can put some of the some of the evil robots in it, which are right here. This is their little drop pod in the movie. They have these, and I think this was so fun to see because this is a space marine drop pod, basically. And when it falls down, the the it's supposed to hit like that. I can't do it on my hand, and it falls open, and there's your evil robot who is in the movie is hunting after. Uh, Buzz and his his buddies there so you can see so it drops down that falls out he comes out and see the two pack of these are the thing is the thing I wanted to get the last of the light year series so then he comes out and he's basically your, you know your your standard kind of looks like the robots from uh, reminds me of in Marvel what's the organization aim AIM doesn't it look like those is that what I'm thinking about so he comes out you can put these guys in here 
So uh, like that, I believe, is what the instructions show. They can drop out of there. Um, this area here opens up, this great big area, and the drop pod, uh, once it's closed up, is supposed to fit in there. Let's see if it does. So it fits in there like that. Anyway, it fits in there. These open up and fall out. And then that's why I guess they sell a two pack of these. Um, you've got one with this. I don't know why they didn't give you one more. You'd have the two pack. Maybe because now if you buy a two pack, you have three and then there's four spaces. It's kind of annoying how they do that kind of stuff. Um, so those drop out. Um, you've got these interesting, uh, I don't know if this is a landing gear. I don't remember the movie well enough. So those pop out. I think those are landing gear. Yeah, so it does. It can it can hold up on these two, these front and these rear uh, parts here. Um, I don't know if I put the batteries in. I don't know if the batteries are on or if it's turned on. Let's see what the sounds like. Okay, let's make sure it's turn it on now. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so that's one. Ooh, look at the back. Look at the back. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe we're going on, I guess. Okay. I mean, you know, it's a uh, it's a sound effect. So you do have that going for it, I guess. Let's even get a good photo of it. There we go for the thumbnail. Um, any more? I think that's just like traveling in space sound. The lights are nice. So it's got some nice little features like that. I'm not at all really a fan of, like I said, of the, the electronic play stuff because it usually doesn't sound that great. It usually kind of, it's just kind of, you make that sound with your mouth when you're a kid. It's a play feature. You're, you're, you know, you're part of it then. But otherwise, when it fills in the sound, it's a little bit, um, little bit goofy. It sounds okay, um, but that's kind of interesting. The light up stuff is really cool. So if you if you need to use the, um, the lights, but then the sound, maybe you can rig that up or whatever. But the light up stuff is really neat. That's a neat little feature. So it's not bad. Again, though, you can see from how it looks up close, how in insanely badly <laughs> this needs. Um, some washing, some highlights, something. And I don't know if this, I think this is out of scale. I think the people in the in the show, I should say, according to this, will be really tiny. This is like a giant craft. And I don't know if they built it like this to, see, I don't know what this is here. Does anybody know what that does? I thought maybe it forced this open or something. Maybe it makes one of the sounds. Something hangs on it or whatever. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into it more. Maybe there's certain characters that go on there. Um, but it's cool. These are pretty cool. I really like this. this is going to go up on my, like I said, my shelf for uh, spacecraft flying vehicles. That's going to be on the top. I'll make a video of it whenever I get them all put up there. But pretty cool. Like I said, if you want to buy these, these are great stocking stuffers. It's not so much because it's so large, but, you know, you might be able to get the whole collection. Go to Amazon. You can get them for like... $8.99. This one, like I said, look for trouble sh trouble free or some kind of packaging. It was an option on checkout and it was $23, but it came in the original box, but inside like a collector's box. It's very possible that's a mistake from Amazon because they do that stuff all the time. Um, but anyway, checked it out. Not bad. I enjoyed it. I uh, hope you did too. <laughs> look, I'm making it with my mouth. I'm not making it with the machine. I'm My mouth is... <laughs> See how... You don't need electronics, kids. But anyway, have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to sneak up here and pretend I'm looking at the camera. But I'm going to press stop. Bye.